Now, I'll start moving the vehicle. All right. Let me minimize this and zoom out. As you can see, our vehicle is being animated in a very realistic manner. This is me driving around using my keyboard. Okay, you can set it to bad as we saw. You can set it to bad. You can set it to whatever it is that you want. This is just me animating this vehicle in a, you know, in a very smooth terrain. All right. It is going and it's going smoothly. All right. What happens when you have a terrain that is not smooth, that is jagged, that is like, you know, mountainous and rough? In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate vehicles in 3ds Max. Okay. I'm going to show you how to make the vehicles move realistically the way they're supposed to move and how you can also animate them in any type of terrain, no matter how rough that terrain might be. Okay. And also I'm going to show you how you can set up the controls for that car so you can, you can move it any how you want to and very easily too all right so the first thing you might want to do you have to import the vehicle you want to use you want to animate all right so i'm going to just merge the file into the scene because we are going to be animating this vehicle now this is the most important step of this process okay you want to animate this vehicle but then let me open this group you find out that you have a lot of paths and bits and bits of this vehicle you don't want to start animating all of them Okay, it doesn't work like that. You can't even work like that. Okay, so what you want to do is you need to make this, the entire body of this vehicle be one object and the entire, entire tire, like the way the body tire, the wheels, the rims, everything, they're going to be one object. So at the end of the day, this entire vehicle is going to be five objects. Now, when I select this thing now, you're going to see 190 entities. So by the time we are done, we are going to have only five entities here. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So how do you do that? How do you merge all these little bits and bits of this car into one? It's very simple. You just select any part of it. Okay. Let's start with this place. Select this. You go to your modify tab. You can see we have turbo smooth and we have um, editable poly. Select the editable poly and then you go down a bit. Under the edit geometry tab or roll down menu, Okay, roll up or roll down menu, whatever. You can see create and then you see attach. Attach is what you want to do. So you select the attach and then you select any other part of that. And then, so when this attach option comes out, you might, you want to leave it here because you don't want to mess up the material. Okay, you might feel the urge to select any of these options. Don't do that because the moment you do, you might mess up material. So leave it at the number one option like this, match material IDs to materials. Okay, so you hit okay. Now it has combined those two geometries you keep adding and then saying okay okay just like that one thing you might want to do also to be able to monitor what you're doing usually when you open 3ds Max, it's going to come in with this scene explorer so this scene explorer here you can use it like now i've attached to it to some degree so i will select this guy you see the car here okay so i'm just going to turn it off you now see that there are some things that are remaining all right so I'm just going to position my camera, like the view of the object, you know, in a way that I will easily assess those things. So I'll, I'm, I'll open it back and then go back to the attach with poly, then attach. And I'll go back and start attaching them. I know there's one here. So that's, that's, that's basically, so let's just fast forward it again. All right, so you can see I'm done attaching all this, you know, the parts of the car together. Now, when I select it, you're going to see, okay, the reason why you're seeing six items is because of this group, you know, this group object. So if I should delete it now and I select it, what you're going to see is five objects selected. That is the four wheel and the body of the vehicle. Okay, so now that we have done that, what is the next step for us to do? Okay, the next step for us to do, first of all, let's go ahead and um, um, say, draw a plane. Okay, we're gonna draw, draw a plane like this, the way we normally do it. Okay, make it as big as possible. You'll be happy you did. Or if it is a road that you want to animate your vehicle on, you already have the road there. So you just, you know, you don't have to draw this plane. I don't have a road. I don't have a terrain to drive on. So I'm drawing this, you know, road. I'm going to like add some segment to this. Don't add too much. Let me just make it 50-50. OK, 
Okay, that was better. That was, that was, that was, that was cool. All right. I'm going to change this to default. Okay, just for my for my own sake, I'm just going to come over here, get a material, corner legacy material, and I apply it to this road. I adjust the color to be a little bit, you know, dark. Okay, because I want to appreciate what it is I'm doing. Now, uh, the next thing I want us to do is start the process of anim animating our vehicle. And to do that, we're going to be using Craft Director Studio, okay? I'll put the link in the description where you can download and install it. Okay. And then, um, you, when you do that, it is going to be here, the utilities tab. So when you open it, you're going to see it there. So you click on it, you click on it like this. You see, flash the button, click on this one and then you start director studio. All right. So when you do that, you come over here, you click and you hold and it opens this thing. We're going to be using four wheeler. Okay. The car does the, the car that we have here is a four wheeler car. Okay. So. I'm going to select this. All right. So when we do that, you are going to see that the vehicle, this vehicle appears. Okay. This is a dummy vehicle that we're going to be using to animate our car, our vehicle too. So what I need to do is to align this car with this other one. So how do I do that? Let's go ahead and hide every other thing apart from that vehicle. So I'm just going to come over here, hide my audio, all the vision. Okay. And then open up this stuff. Come down here. I hide the plane. I'm going to now select it and I'm going to go to the top view, turn on my angle snap. Okay. Toggle on the angle snap and then rotate this 90 degrees. You can rotate the other car if you want. It all works anyway. So I'm just going to come over here and then turn on the cars back. Okay. Turn on my plane back. I would actually love it if the dummy is in a different layer. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to select everything here and I'm going to deselect this. So to add it in a different layer, just come over here and click create new layer and it's going to add it in a, to a different layer. As you can see now, when I turn it on and turn it off, everything you can see. So now to select this is actually very easy. You can see. All right, so I've selected it. I can go ahead and turn off the cameras. Can go ahead, you can go ahead and turn off the cameras that were there before, but that were not showing. So now I'm going to select everything. I'm going to scale it up, okay, to actually match this car a little bit. Just roughly. You don't have to. It doesn't have to be accurate, okay? It doesn't have to be accurate. All you have to do is just scale it in a way that it is going to match the car so that the tires will be where the tires are, and then the vehicle will be where the vehicle are. As you can see, I've scaled it, Okay. Let me shift this thing to this side. And then let's go over here and see. Okay, now I have to move it up so that the wheels will align where the wheels are supposed to align. All right, so just like that. Let me make sure that this is touching the ground. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I say, rough scaling. Okay, now that we have done that, we are going to, next thing we're going to do is to align these the tires together. Like the tire of this dummy, I'm going to align it with the tire of my car that I want to animate. And also on this side too, I'm going to do the same thing. All four tires, all four wheels, let me call it wheels, not tire. All four wheels, I'm going to align them together. So how do we do that? All right. But first of all, select the, the other wheel because that is what I want to align to this. When you select it, you click on the align button and then you click on this. All right. Make sure that S, Y, Z positions are checked and then center to center. This center to center, check them too and then hit OK. All right. Come over here, select the, 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 the dummy wheel and then align it to this. Okay. The same thing. You don't need to make any other changes. 3ds mass is going to remember so select it align it to this okay find it again select and then align to this all right so now that we are done aligning now that we are done aligning the the wheels together we are going to link both wheels and then the body of the car Okay, we're going to link it link it in such a way that whatever happens to that dummy wheel is going to happen to the 
car wheel. All right. So to do that, you see the link, the link to here. This is select and link. All right. So I'm going to first of all link the bodies together. So I'm going to select the body of the vehicle. Select the, this time around, you're going to select the body of the vehicle first. And then you're going to select, you're going to select this two here and then link it to the body. Like so. I've linked it. All right. And then come over here. Link the this um the 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 vehicle your own vehicle now not the not the dummy dummy's wheel your own vehicle's wheel to the wheel of the dummy and then come over here the same thing link your wheel to dummy's wheel link your wheel to dummy's wheel all right so now I'm done linking everything I'm just gonna come over here and deselect that. I'm done linking the wheels to the wheels of the dummy and then the body of my vehicle to the body of the vehicles to, to the dummy vehicle. All right. So I'm just going to open this, our craft studio. All right. And then I'm going to make, do some settings. So I'm going to double click this and I'm going to change the profile to that of a sports car. All right. Sports car. And I'm going to say, say a, a startup product or whatever, and then close it. And then I'm going to set up the controls. This is where you set up your control. All right. So I'm going to use and this example. That is the keyboard. You double click it and it changes everything to keyboard. So if you want to move forward, you're going to press the forward arrow. That is the up arrow, the arrow keys. All right. If you want to go right, you're going to click the right arrow. If you want to boost, okay, you want to boost like booster, like to accelerate or something, you're going to use the page up key. All right. Find where the page up key is on your keyboard and then you use it. All right. If you want to break, you're going to hold control. All right. These are the movements. All right. The gas pedal, how you're going to go left, right, all of those things. So you memorize them or you write them down somewhere. You can see skidding. If you want to skid, you're going to hold page down. If you want to skid break, yeah, you understand? All these things, you get them, you memorize them. Then you have, you can see shift. You can see space, external force. Okay. Burnout, home key. All right. You're going to say grapple, shake, altitude, all those things, shift, all those things. You can actually use them while you are doing your stuff or you can customize them. As you can see, you drop it down, you select whatever you want. Okay. Whatever suits you. You can then save a startup or whatever, but then you close it. It has been set. All right. Now we have actually animated our stuff. Okay, we can hide the dummy from here, or we can hide because we have already put it in a different layer. We can hide it from there. All right, so let's see whether what we have done is working. All right, so to test it, I'm going to hit the record button. Okay, now I'll start moving the vehicle. All right, let me minimize this and zoom out. As you can see, our vehicle is being animated. All right. I'm holding two buttons now. I'm holding the forward and the right buttons. Let's go ahead and look at the tire and see what happen is happening to the tire. Okay. The tire is rotating as you can see. Okay. As you can see, it's rotating. Okay. So when we are done with our animation, let me see. We can actually bring back this stuff and then re-simulate everything that we just did. And then we'll take the, the keyframe backwards. When we take it back, we can now play it. You can see the vehicle moving. Let me, let me keep changing this thing so you can see. All right. Minimize this. You can see that the wheels are moving as well. All right. In a very realistic manner. This is me driving around using my keyboard. Okay. You can set it to bad as we saw. You can set it to pad. You can set it to whatever it is that you want. Okay. It doesn't really, really matter. All right. So that's just basically it for this. This is just me animating this vehicle in a, you know, in a very smooth terrain. All right. It is going and it's going smoothly. All right. What happens when you have a terrain that is not smooth, that is jagged, that is like, you know, mountainous and rough? How do you do that? I'm going to show you. First of all, let's make this uh, terrain not smooth. Let me stop this, uh, this replay that is happening here. 
Okay, let's make this our uh, terrain not smooth. How do we do that? We'll select it and then we'll go to the modify tab and we'll apply noise to it. Okay. Select fractal. All right. And then you come down here and you add the, because I want to have, make it be rough on the Z, Z axis. Okay. As you can see, the road now is now rough. Okay. Let's increase its intensity. You can always increase its intensity by coming over here and adding more segments to this. As you can see, our car is even is inside the ground now. Okay, our vehicle is inside the ground now. Don't worry about that. We're going to fix all that in a minute. All right. So let me just stop it here. Let me leave it like this for now. Okay, and then go back. So the first thing we need to do is bring back our vehicle, our dummy vehicle over here. And I'm going to put it in wireframe mode so I can be seeing everything that's going on right here. All right. So this is the gravity. This is what, the, if you come over here, you look at it, it, it is saying gravity direction mesh. With this, this vehicle is going to know, understand how the terrain is like, okay? It is pointing down. So all you have to do to be able to make this car understand the terrain of this vehicle is for you to take this okay and then link this to the mesh of your and then you link it to this all right i hope i've linked it too. yeah it has been linked all right now that we have we are done you know linking that gravity stuff to our terrain so we are going to start recording again so i'm going to hit record okay so when it happens you see the way the car jumped up on top of this terrain. So now when I start animating this vehicle, let me let me show edges. Okay. When I start animating this vehicle, I'm moving this vehicle rather, you are going to see this, okay, that the vehicle is actually climbing those mountainous areas. Okay, let me turn on the grid so that you understand. I cannot turn on the grid, so we just keep going. Let me turn the vehicle. You see, you see the vehicle actually climbing those areas. As you can see here. All right. And that's how it is done. So I'm going to stop recording like so. And I'm going to re-simulate it. All right. So now I can actually take it back and play the video. So play. This is when it jumped and then it's already moving. Okay, here. Yeah. So, so that we understand, you can see where the plane is straight. That's what the grid is here to show us. It entered and it came back out, all right? All right, just look at the grid to fall inside. That is the uneven terrain that I wanted to show you. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future tutorials like this. All right? Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.